My family spent 11 nights in four different hotels this year. The best part? We didn't spend a dime on those days. One of those hotels was even a nice resort. Now you're probably wondering how we managed that. Well, in this video, I'm sharing how you can make those family vacations more affordable. Everyone loves a good vacation, but of course the biggest downside to them is that they're generally expensive. From airfare to hotels to car rentals, the price of everything quickly adds up. Even road trips that are generally more affordable still run into the high cost of hotel stays. This is where the world of credit card points and rewards come into play. Before I start explaining how I ended up getting 11 free nights, I want to emphasize that I am not talking about spending more money than you have. To take advantage of everything I'm sharing in this video requires responsible usage of credit cards, meaning that the credit card is paid off completely each month and not letting any balance carry over. Treat credit cards like debit cards and only spend what you have. Many times when people are talking about credit card rewards, they're referring to aspirational travel to an exotic location like the Maldives. But for family with young children, those points will go a lot further staying at a higher place or Marriott residence in. Just so everyone is on the same page, I'll give a quick explanation of credit card points and how they work. Give or take, there are two ways to earn points. The first is what are called sign-up bonus offers. This usually means something like a 60,000 bonus points for spending $4,000 in the first three months of opening the account. By far, this is the easiest way to earn a large amount of points quickly. The downside is generally that you only get these offers once per credit card. There are ways you can churn these offers, but generally it takes something like 48 months before you can get the offer again. So it's not really reliable to duplicate, at least not on a regular basis. The second is when you use a credit card, the credit card company offers you a small percentage back, in most cases, as points. The percentage varies depending on a credit card brand and even on a category that you spend on. For example, this Chase Freedom Unlimited credit card I have here gives you 3% back on dining, 3% on drugstore, and 5% on travel that's booked through Chase portals, as well as 1.5% back on everything else. This method isn't the fastest way to get points, but if you used in conjunction with multiple credit cards, you can occur quite a bit of points throughout the year. An example of what I mean for having multiple credit cards is that this Chase Sapphire Preferred card here, I use it for dining and streaming services since this offers 3% back for those categories. And then I'll use my Chase Freedom Unlimited here for 3% at drugstore and 1.5% on everything else. This way you maximize the points you get for each purchase. Now that we're all caught up on how to actually earn points, let's talk about the main event on the best way to redeem them. There are a couple ways to use the points. However, I'm not gonna sit here and bore you with the ways that I personally don't recommend. The best way to use these points is actually by transferring them to a transfer partner. Meaning that although you're gaining Chase Ultimate Reward Points, you're actually not using them at Chase, but transferring them to someone like the World of Hyatt for hotel stays or Air Canada for air travel. I mentioned these two specifically as they're generally known to be great reward transfer partners, meaning you get the most bang for your points by using them versus someone else. So here's an example of, I'm going to look up something real quick of World of Hyatt versus Marriott Bonvoy, which are both Chase partners. Let's say you want to take your family to Disney World and plan to stay somewhere around March 8th to 11th. I'm looking for value hotels, so nothing fancy, just a decent place to stay. All right, so here, let's go in on Marriott Bonvoy. Um, there we go, the 8th, and just to make it easy, let's put Disney World. Um, it pops up at Florida, and make sure you check use points just to give everything, uh, find everything. All right, now everything that's loaded. Personally, I like using the map over here feature, so you kind of see where everything really is located. Um, one now, I'm trying to look for something that's actually pretty good value, and usually I found the Residence Inn from Marriott is a pretty decent value point-wise. Um, let's go ahead and see. Um, so all of this area here is fairly close to Disney World. I'm not 100% sure, but I do remember reading it somewhere before. Let's go and see if I can remember where I find this stuff. No, that's the courtyard. Okay, so here, I think this found it right here. All right, so here we have the residence in Orlando. Um, which goes for, as you can see, for the whole stay, this is for all three nights. You can spend 88,500 points for this stay. Let's see how much it is with points for somewhere like the World of Hyatt. So let's go ahead and select the same exact date range just to give it some kind of fairness, although you're not going to find the exact same hotel because it's a different brand. Um, once again, Disney 
World Florida and let's find the hotels and make sure you check use points and we'll see what loads all right as you can see um, right away you find something around an area the Lake Buena Vista area and right here they actually do it by points per night um, as you can see here this one right here is a Hyatt place which I think is a pretty good value stay and now it goes for 9,500 points per night so if you let's go ahead and do the calculation for three nights because um, you're gonna have to sign in to actually actually let's go and see what happens I think I am still signed in all right so one thing about Hyatt is if you want to check all this stuff out you do have to be signed in um, it is a free account however I just want to make it real easy right now so I'm just gonna do a little bit of math instead of signing in 9500 times 3 and there you go 28,500 points is what you would spend for a comfortable hotel at Hyatt as you can see from this example, you'll be saving 60,000 points if you use someone like Hyatt. So definitely the best hotel chain to spend points with, especially if you're transferring over from somewhere like Chase. You can do the same with airlines, but it does get a bit more complicated since airlines form these alliances or teams where multiple companies cooperate so that they can have more flying rounds. For example, Air Canada and United are part of the Star Alliance, meaning you can use Air Canada points to book a United flight. The advantage of going through Air Canada to fly United is that Air Canada requires less points for the same flight. So the key takeaway from this is getting a credit card that has transfer partners as this allows you to really maximize your points. I'll have a list of cards that have transfer partners in the description down below. But one of my new personal favorite is the Built Rewards card. This card is very special in that it allows you to earn points from paying rent. Yes, paying rent. And I know you're probably thinking that paying rent with your credit card usually comes with a fee. But the good thing about Built is that they have that covered. If the apartment or landlord is part of the Built Reward Alliance, you can use the app to pay rent. However, if your landlord isn't part of this program, you can still use it without fees. Built gives you a routing number and account number to pay online as if you're paying with a checking account. They even have an option to set up a check to be mailed to your landlord if that's the way you pay. You only get 1% back for rent, but with that generally being your biggest spend each month, it adds up. So if you pay $2,000 each month for rent, that's 24,000 points, which is enough to get you three nights stay at many Hyatt hotels that cost 8,000 points a night. This video is really just the basic of credit card points and how it can save you money on your next family vacation. I didn't get into heavy details on everything as this is a bit different of a topic compared to my normal videos and not sure how many of you are actually interested in this. So let me know down below in the comment section if you'd like to hear more about this topic. And until next time, keep parenting the awesome way.